Number four begins in three, two, one, go. One minute 45 on the clock for these teams. Or rather, 15 seconds autonomous to start, but shot being fired away for the blue side. One gets in. Red also gets one in. Here comes the second chances for everybody. Blue off the front of the rim and out. Another one being fired. Red's got four inside. Blue, I believe, has three. No, it's four for the blue. And... By Roller, it's gonna be the Blue Alliance that gets the first 10 of the game. Drivers, three, two, one, go! Off and running, Spirit Division gets the first 10 of the game. It's up to the red to catch, and right away, shooting one after the other. It's gonna be our team 12H from Happy Haystacks. We're gonna go run right after the other, playing defense on them though. The Mad Hatters will not let them escape, but somehow, some way, they're able to find shots off. Meanwhile, on the other end, you got the Red Alliance finding more. Trying to find blank, a shot here. And now the Mad Hatters are trapped in themselves. And a couple more shots coming in from, from Mad Hatters right now, excuse me, from blank, able to find a couple more shots in. Minute 10 seconds left to go. More shots being fired up off the front of the rim, though 12H can't find it. And there is an extension. Gotta twirl it back in. They gotta find a way to get back in that extension, unnecessary. But 55 seconds, unintentional but still got to reel it back in if they want a chance at the end game. 50 seconds remaining, now left to go on the clock. Blue's going to add on to their lead here. They're going to try to add on a couple of more dits inside of the top goal. For WE, for Happy Haystacks, they're looking pretty good to put this inside of the high goal with 35 seconds remaining. A couple of more, and they find room. Three more upstairs for the team out of McLean, Virginia. And now down to 25. We have Blue Alliance Rollers, Blue Alliance Roller, two in blue, two look to be in neutral. A clash down the middle. Teams thinking about setups with only 15 seconds remaining. Now five seconds before we get to the end game. Two seconds left and now teams end game enabled. Shoot it all over. They get a disc out. This doesn't matter though. Gotta find a way to shoot out. Last four seconds here. Two seconds left in the match. And that is the buzzer for quarterfinal number four. And a very unfortunate situation early on for the Blue Alliance, or for the Red Alliance, excuse me. But we'll see what the final score comes up as. Now it's back on over to Grant. Well, they say robotics competitions are a series of small decisions, small victories, small mistakes. And uh, you just saw that happen in that match. This game is, I don't want to say brutal, but it is difficult. Uh, this game punishes and rewards those small decisions, small victories, small mistakes. It, uh, everybody in the crowd knew it when it happened. You can't, at this level of play, be launching your endgame mechanisms early. Uh, you saw what happened. It took one of the top teams in the entire world out of play for like half the match. Um, Red Alliance just didn't have much they could do after that. Uh, one of the things I always tell drivers as they're, you know, trying to compete or trying to figure out the best ways to play is you got to win anyways. Hashtag win anyways. I don't care if the rule is difficult. I don't care if, you know, somebody yelled your name and you looked away. Like, you got to rise above to the challenge. And uh, usually we see that coming out to play here in the finals. So, we'll, uh, unfortunately, that match didn't go quite their way. So, still an incredible match, still an incredible machine. Um, and, yeah, I loved seeing it. So, with that being said, I think we got some more scores ready.